your tropa, katsikahan, kadaldalan, kakwentuhan. I am Shara. At kakatapos ko lang mag-record ng pang-32 episode natin <laughs> sa Chill Chica. And saktong-sakto para sa agenda natin for today, which is podcast editing using nothing else but your phone. Disclaimer lang, I feel like every time I share videos about phone podcasting, kailangan kong sabihin tong disclaimer na to. Kasi there are people who really dislikes phone podcasting, mainly because of the quality. But yeah, disclaimer, <laughs> I'm not saying na using your phone is a lot better than any other podcast equipment uh, na ginagamit ng mga pro podcasters. But this video is mainly for the people who simply wants to start and are willing to start with the resources that they have. Okay, <laughs> let's get started. May lakad ako today, so bilisan na natin. The app that I'm using is BandLab. So ano nga ba muna yung BandLab? It is an app for music recording and social music creation. So, based on the description, yah, this app's purpose is to create and share music. So, why is this what I use? Number one, so many different features that I use for the audio that I need in my podcast. Number two, the app is free. You don't need to pay. And number three, user-friendly the app. It's not hard to understand. The only downside is may limit na hanggang 15 minutes lang yung audio na pwede mong i-edit kasi hindi naman talaga siya meant for long audio. So, ang ginagawa ko lang since more than 15 minutes yung episodes ng podcast ko is kinakat ko siya sa recording or kaya kung napahaba ng 15 minutes yung recording, kinakat ko siya gamit yung ibang app and then ine-edit ko siya sa BandLab per part. So, kahit anong app pwede nyo gamitin dito sa part na to. Kahit nga i-search lang sa, sa Play Store yung audio cutter or audio editor and dami ng options na lalabas. Again, pwede nyo gamitin kahit ano doon. And then, say for example, nasa 20 to 25 minutes yung podcast episode ko. Bali, yung nakat ko na 15 minutes, yun muna yung isasalang ko sa BandLab. And then, yung matitira, yun naman yung isusunod kong i-edit. Tapos, magkasunod ko silang i-upload sa Anchor para mas maintindihan natin, puntahan natin yung app. Okay, so once na ma-download nyo na yung BandLab sa phone nyo, ganito yung itsura niya. Uh, dito, makikita nyo yung mga pinapost na music ng ibang creators. I won't be clicking on it na kasi, <laughs> kasi baka ma-copyright tayo. Pero, yeah, since this is a social platform, you can follow different people. You can interact with them. Pero, that's not what we're here for today. So, diretso tayo sa editing feature. Dito sa lower part, sa gitna, may plus sign. So, i-click lang natin yon. Sa left side, makikita naman natin yung import track. So, i-click din natin yun. So, I start off by clicking the music that I use and then wait for it to be fully imported into the editor. Bale, ikakot ko lang muna yung audio para makuha ko yung part ng music na gusto kong gamitin. So, ganito. Uh, click mo tong parang sound wave and then may magpa-pop up na command sa taas niya. Click mo yung symbol for splitting the audio. And then, click mo naman yung part na gusto mong i-delete. Then, click delete. Now, kapag nagde-delete tayo ng audio, may blank space na naiiwan. So, kailangan natin i-adjust yung position. Click, hold, and drag lang. Ayan, magbabawas lang din ako sa dulong part para hindi masyadong mahaba yung part na may audio. Kapag sinwipe natin tong left part, lalabas tong volume adjustment feature. So, ang ginagawa ko lang dito is I lower my volume. Siyempre, hindi dapat sobrang lakas ng volume ng music mo para hindi naman matabunan yung boses mo. Now, i-introduce ko kayo sa isa pang feature ng BandLab, which is fade. So, again, click nyo yung sound wave, click the ellipses, yung tatlong tuldok, then click fade. May lalabas na adjustment tools sa baba. You can slide them para magbigay ng fading effect. Let me show you. This is how it sounds without the fade. Now, I'll adjust this and this is how it'll sound. sinyo, pahina siya ng pahina. The reason why I do this is para hindi masyadong sharp yung pagtigil ng music ko. Kumbaga, it will just blend sa voice na i-insert ko later on. 
To add that voice, click natin yung plus sign sa left. Again, import audio. Hanapin mo lang sa files mo yung mga, yung na-record mong audio. And then, antayin mo lang ulit na ma-import siya completely. I'll adjust it sa kung saan ko siya gustong mag-start. Again, click, hold, and drag. Nalagay ko siya dito. And this is how it will sound like. Lovely day everyone! Welcome to the Chill Chica Podcast. Chill Chikahan lang na may sense. This is your friend, your tropa, kachikahan, kadaldalan, kakwentuhan. This is Shara. Ganorn. So, notice how the music just faded into the audio? That's the effect that I was going for. Uh, optional lang naman yung fading. If iba yung gusto nyong gawin for your intro, that's okay lang din. I suggest uh, you listen to other podcasts then para may idea kayo kung paano nila ini-insert yung music sa intro nila. So, that's basically how it works. I feel like pwede ko na kayong iwan and then alam nyo na kung anong gagawin nyo. Pero yeah, yun lang naman usually yung ginagawa ko. Cut, delete, and adjust. Paulit-ulit lang hanggang sa mabura ko lahat ng mga parts na hindi ko bet. And then kapag umabot na ako dun sa 15 minute limit ng audio, isa-save ko na siya. And this is how I do it. Click nyo yung upper right and click save. Ayan. Tapos lagay kayo dyan ng name and then save. Mabagal siya mag-save. I don't know sa phone nyo, baka mas mabilis sa inyo. Pero sa akin kasi mabagal na rin <laughs> yung phone ko. So, ayun. Struggle is real. <laughs> Pag save na raw, back nyo lang hanggang maharating kayo dito. So, click nyo yung folder sa lower right, tapos click nyo yung audio na na-edit nyo. Click the download button, tapos click the audio. Ayan. Waiting game talaga dito sa phone ko, nakaka-jirit. <laughs> Sana hindi ganyan sa inyo kasi nakaka-ubos talaga siya ng pasensya. Pero ayan, kiniklik ko lang save to drive para may backup ako. May anchor naman, pero hindi ko pa na-try idiretso dyan kasi mas prefer ko lang talaga na may file din akong nakasave sa Google Drive just in case. So, maganda nang may backup, ba diba? Now, once uploaded na siya sa Google Drive nyo, ita-download nyo naman siya sa phone. Okay, alam ko marunong na kayo mag-download sa phone. Punta kayo sa Google Drive, right-click nyo yung file, click download. Alam nyo na yan, malaki na kayo. Punta tayo ngayon sa anchor. So, once you open the app, ito yung makikita nyo. May plus sign ulit. Tapos, click nyo yun. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. Pwede kayong mag-record dito. Tapos, ang pagkakalam ko, basic edits carry rin. Pero yung mga fade-fade kayo, may wala dito. Correct me if I'm wrong ha. The last time I checked, ganun eh. Super limited lang ng tools. Pero workable naman. So, you can stick to Anchor if you want. So, Um, since na-edit ko na yung audio sa ibang platform, kailangan ko lang siyang i-import dito sa Anchor. Uh, to do that, click nyo yung library, tapos click import na nasa upper right corner, then select the file that you want to import. Antayin lang ulit natin completely ma-process yung audio, and then sa uploading na tayo. Click nyo yung plus sign sa right side ng audio, tapos click add segment to episode. Take note sa nakasulat dito ha na new episode ang ginagawa natin and then click niyo yung second part ng audio. Again, ulit lang click add segment to episode. This time ang nakasulat na is this will be added to the episode that we're creating. So just go with that and then i-back niyo lang hanggang sa makabalik kayo sa home screen ng app. Ah, uh, makikita niyo dito yung audio na inad natin. Sa upper right part, may publish. Click nyo yon, tapos lagyan nyo lang ng title and description, and click publish now. Actually, pwede nyo ring ibahin yung publish date. Example, gusto nyo siyang ma-publish next week pa. So, pwede nyo yan iset dito. Then, click schedule. That's basically it, and you're done. Kapag ito yung unang episode mo, and unang podcast din, una siyang ma-upload sa Spotify. Kung sa siyang ma-upload sa ibang podcasting platforms, you'll just have to wait. Minsan days, minsan weeks, iba-iba eh. Pero, yeah, 
that's how it works. So, ayun, I hope this video helped you. Kung nakulangan kayo sa explanation, okay lang mag-comment ha, huwag kayong mahiya. Tumatanggap naman ako ng constructive criticisms. Tapos, kung meron naman kayong mga specific question, again, pwede nyong i-comment. Pero kung comfortable naman kayo na in private na lang, you can DM me. Lahat ng contact information ko, eh, nasa description box lang naman. Kung nakaabot ka dito, thank you so much. Sobrang na-appreciate ko. I-invite ko na rin kayo to drop your podcast link sa comment section para ma-mention natin next video. I know, hindi pa masyadong malaki yung community natin dito sa YouTube, pero hanggat kaya, I'll try to help. Malay nyo, di ba? Meron tayo dito makita na interested sa topic na pinag-uusapan nyo sa podcast nyo. So, dagdag listeners din yon di ba? So, lagay nyo lang yung title, tapos podcast links. Okay? Bye!